Hey, can you hear me? I'm so glad you're alive. I thought you might be dead since you were just lying there. I am Vanessa Holden, one of the pioneers. We help outcasts like you. I'm sure Orbis coerced you into mining Terracite and bringing it back, right? Don't worry, I'm not a watchdog sent by Orbis authorities. You'll soon find out why we're trying to help you. Just focus on learning how to survive for now. Regardless of whether you choose to stay on Earth or go back to Orbis, you have to stay alive first. Use the moving keys to move around. You can use the directional keys and the sprint key together to sprint. Looks like you got hurt from the impact of landing. You should see a bandage in one of the quick slots at the bottom of the screen. Press the number of the quick slot with the bandage to recover some health. Here we go. Do you see the green indicator blinking in the lower left corner of the screen? It means that your machine arm is low on energy. Use the battery pack on one of the quick slots to recharge it. Press the number of the quick slot with the battery pack to start recharging your machine arm. If you don't have a battery pack on you, go to an abandoned building nearby. Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're jumping into Destera. She definitely is explaining quite a bit on the launch here. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of updates since last time we jumped in. Super excited to at least showcase this. I hope you guys and girls are enjoying this. And if you guys are, please take time. Hit the like button. If you're brand new, please go subscribe. I definitely keep my eye on this one. I can't wait for it to launch. There's a rancid deer. You can see it. Uh, if you guys want to story this, well, we've uh, the Earth was pretty much pillaged and now we need to come back down here and do a little more mining for oh resources damn okay let's let's just get this done we'll talk a little more about the story in a second we're gonna put the battery pack right in there we have a bionic arm robotic arm make sure you don't go to a dangerous area though check the danger level displayed on the mini map in the upper left corner of the screen if you go to a highly dangerous area you'll just die right away so don't try to get adventurous <laughs> She's not joking. I know that machine arm must feel awkward, but try to get used to it. Let's try something new. Press vision scan to activate vision scan. It will help you when you look for something helpful nearby. Like this. This place is actually awesome here. So we're able to pick up a little bit of goodies here as we're looking through this. And uh, this opens up a whole bunch of recipes I'm not mistaken through this. So this is a common metals and such. And also, uh, yeah, it just disappears like that. We can also use our laser arm to take apart a whole bunch of stuff. And it, right like this. There you go, some scrap bins. I thought we can go into those, but I don't think we can anymore. Or maybe I'm just mistaken. These are just gathering rubble. And now he's going to take up some of the battery on the bottom left. You can see it. It's already draining really, really fast. Faster than I thought it would. And I think we got some extra ones, by the way. Oh, this is good. Yes. Yes, please. Double click it. Boom. Uh, we are starving, too. So we're just going to grab this. I know they mentioned this here, too. But we're just going to grab this. That gonna... vision is a gift from Orbis. Just like your machine arm. So put it to good use. While vision scan is active, it consumes energy. So make sure not to waste it. Of course. You can use a battery pack again to recharge energy. Yeah, we're just going to boost you ourselves up. You should be able to find some canned food in abandoned buildings nearby. You might get attacked by wild beasts or other exiles on the way, though. Press the number of the quick slot with a pistol to hold it in your hand. Once you make it to an abandoned building, use the vision scan I told you about earlier to find canned food more easily. Once you find canned food, you can press interaction key to put it in your inventory. Pretty cool. A whole bunch of goodies. I mean, there's a lot to do in this game. I'm just letting her kind of talk through so I didn't want to disturb too much. But there's a lot for us to build in here and craft. There's still more with our base. We we'll start getting crafting tables. Uh, yeah, my God. This game is endless amounts of fun. You can play multiplayer. You can play single player currently. And uh, there's PvE and PvP servers as I've when I've heard. That's good news. Uh, we're going to have to go around and go get ourselves some more food inside of here. And then we'll find ourselves a location to go. Now, you see they're marked after press a V. Kind of gives you, like, where the things are inside of here for a tiny bit. If I'm not mistaken, I think it disappears. And here we go. Whoa, he's the easy one. Damn it. I got caught there on that fence. Okay, come on, buddy. Oh, well, headshots. Android. A relic you'd only find in a museum back in Orbis. It normally doesn't okay. attack people. Its system must be seriously buggy. Back when we pioneers stayed in this building, it used to help us a lot. This makes me sad. 
Yep, this is where it happens now. They went up and they come back down. Uh, we do a mine terracite, I think it's called, if I'm not mistaken. And we, had, we were sent wild, back down you can by the company. Edible plants like mushrooms. You can also hunt animals and cook their raw meat using a barrel grill or a grill. That's pretty cool. Love that. Did you get all the materials? Press crafting key and select one of the armor pieces marked with an exclamation mark to craft it. I'm sure Orbis has saved a crafting manual on your machine arm. All right, so you have different fibers and stuff, depending what color you want to kind of rock this. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell that is. It's like orange, like for hunting season or something. I'm going to go with the green because, uh, you know, a little iris thing. Let's well craft that up. Let's get one of those shirts done. And I think I can make myself some pants. Might as well go and coordinate ourselves a little bit. Here we go. We'll go full green on this one. That's very nice. And anything else here? We need some rain shoes. You can the armor you just crafted by double-clicking on it from the inventory. Yeah, well, this gear is all... Death is a part of life here, with no doctors and hospitals. However, if you install a sleeping bag or a bed ahead of time, you can respawn there after dying. <laughs> Craft so a sleeping bag and add it to a quick slot, then install it on the ground. You should pick an obscure spot so mean exiles don't destroy your sleeping bag. Okay, so, yeah, went to get yourself a sleep bag. I guess we're going to double check to see what the hell that is. In here, did I miss it? There you go, sleep bag. Perfect. Uh, it's going to take up some fiber again. Kind of lucky we were able to gather some really early on. We also have some pistola and stuff. I, I just want to double check. I know there's some more stuff here. There we go. Get the scrap bins. more stuff around here. I know there's more upstairs, but there's some rubble too. Oh shit, not rubble. One how it's gonna go for one-on-one -on -one combat here. Can't shoot this guy. A little hit in the head. Yeah, I prefer that than wasting off more ammo. These guys are just, you know, they are what they are. They're not the most powerful things on earth, so yeah, literally, they're not. So yeah, we'll pick up the electrical, which is beautiful. We need to build to make us off. Someone else is walking here, or something else. I think it might be the animals outside. It might just be the animals. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think there's more upstairs. We uh, I just dropped down beforehand, but I think we can go up through here. And there we go, get some lock boxes and some more badges, which is sweet. I'll take those uh, very much so. And actually, we're going to need some as we progress here. So, yeah, let's just go and do that. And I think that's number eight. You kick it up a little bit. Come on. Nice. All right. Uh, don't know if there's fall damage. Not really want to find out that much. Did it come off? No, we're okay. I thought I saw a little bit of health drop there. Okay. I can I just put another bandage at this point? Might as well just bring assaults back up. Better than wasting time. What was that, anyways? Sound like someone just shot me? Hope not. Okay, there's some more electrical cable here. We're going to need that. Okay, we're going to have to put down a uh, some kind of bed here. Probably the best bet to put up here somewhere. For now, until we get ourselves a little more into it. So let's put this down so we can continue. Does she let me put on uh, top here? Oh, no. Okay, so we have very specific areas. It actually shows you pretty much where uh, it's all blocked off here. So these POIs are not one of them. How far off do I have to go? Right here? Okay. Well, that's good enough for now. Something tells you you shouldn't build anything here. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to put it up afterwards. <laughs> we're going to find ourselves a location anyways. So we might as well make that happen. We do have a pistol. We can hunt those deer. I'm not mistaken. We can eat them. And that's something we have to watch out for. We are going to look for pork and beans, which is not a horrible thing. Leftover cans and stuff like that. We're just going to take care of the robot. Is he getting any hits when I was doing that? I don't... I didn't see... I think the best way for him to get back up. Can I grab that? Even so, you know, I feel like I should be able to grab that, man. Jeez. All right. Let's grab all the chips and everything else we can. More cloth. More scrap. More foods. More of everything. That's what we need. Lots of it. Okay. Back up over here. All right, I'll take those badges. Oh, yeah. Again, this is not the finished part, but it is pretty darn amazing. It looks stunning. The game uh, has a lot of potential to it. 
I don't know if the, I didn't check that window up there, did I? Maybe there's some stuff inside there. Actually, I can check with my vision. Yeah, there's some stuff. I thought I saw something. Nope. Oh, it's over there. I see the rubble. That's what I saw. Keep on breaking this. We're going to need a stone, so make sure you pick it up. Maybe another robot around here somewhere. Was he upstairs? Yeah, he's upstairs. He's the easy one. All the rest of them want to kill you and do not take them lightly. Oh, there we go. We finally got the wrench. That's cool. Move over the melee. Go to sleep bag. Okay, we're in good shape. Uh, there is mushrooms right down there too. We are going to grab some of those for supper too. I just want to see if there's anything else here that I might have missed. It seems like this place had a little bit more bang for a buck. Let's just double check this. Inside these locker, yes. My god, give me a bad just I think they expect us to die. <laughs> it's, it's tough. I've died in this game. Every time I play, it seems to die after I go up somewhere. All right, well, nothing in here. Let's get ourselves back out. And there's rubble here, actually. Well, we'll take that. Now, again, let's take up our battery. Be careful. And you want to make sure you're not overdoing it. I think I can get up from here. This might actually be a good location. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, drop and back up. There's some stuff there on the ground with going mine. And I want to get those fine mushrooms. But it's got to be something up here. Nothing. I really should have used this. Last time I did, I didn't see anything different. Now, I'm not sure if there's fall, like massive fall damage. I didn't really check it when we dropped. I don't think there is. I mean, from seriously high up, yes, but not from that point. Okay, this we can gather the rocks. I love laser, love the arm. It looks absolutely stunning. They actually, I think it's changed quite a bit from last time we played it. Is this any fibers and stuff? No. This is a really nice area too, but if I'm not mistaken, this is like an area where people would have shown up or spawned into. But since we're playing solo right now, because I don't really like the PvE crap, but that's all up to you guys. There you go. Look at this. All those recipes just opened up with a terracite. That is what we need to come down here and actually uh, harvest. Before the end of time, we will need said things. Oh my god. It really looks nice. I'm enjoying it. It's satisfying to watch it explode. But yeah, Terra say we're going to need that for many things in this game. Also, we need it for mining. And we are supposed to bring it back to the people up there. I'm not sure if you can even see them. Can we see them up there? No, it's cloudy. I'm not sure if we can ever see the actual space area there. Space station up top. It is Mammoth. Okay, let's get ourselves something down on the ground now. I think we've got enough stuff for us to be able to survive. See... Subsistence, I'm always going for grabbing those things right away. It looks like plat fibers. Want them. Okay, so what else do I need to craft here? Let's go and check this out. What does she tell me there? We spawn. I put it in sleep back down. She'll leave me alone. Cool. All right, let's find a place that we can do this without being... Where I can build up a nice base. I mean, water we build to get it without having to worry about a lake. We're going to make ourselves a water collector. How big is the map? Does it show you? Holy moly, it's big. Okay, just show me where I'm at. I'm right here. So the outskirts, these are hotter zones. We gotta be careful for those. I heard something walking. Not appreciating that too much. Grab this. Grab this again. And we're gonna, I think we're gonna put it right behind this rock here. Looks like a good amount of flat room here. Can I take out the trees? I don't remember if this, I don't think I can take out the trees here. Yeah, we can't. But at least it's enough room, I think, for us to build where we want to build here. And we can kind of deal with it afterwards. We can build a four base, at least something for us to build what we need. I think that'll work. So, let's just clear up this. There is vehicles in this game, too, if you weren't aware. Very nice, too. Okay, so we're going to put this right over here. Cool. Press map key and open the map to see <laughs> the location of your sleeping bag or bed. There it is. When you select my bed from the respawn screen, you'll be respawned at the location of that sleeping bag or bed. 
However, when you respawn, you'll lose the items you were carrying except for the ones in the secure slots of your inventory. The rest will be dropped at the spot of your death. You have to go back there and retrieve them before someone else takes them. Craft a camel storage box and install it on the ground, storing items in there. Of course, you want to pick a spot where others... The machine arm saves the experience you gain as you try to survive. When the experience points reach a certain level, you can upgrade your machine arm. Press the skill key and upgrade something. Okay, so they want us to make a couple of things. Let's go and grab the meat. This sucker here. It's elk meat. I had to waste off a couple of shots. Not a very good one. I did aim properly. I think they kind of screwed that up. Uh, what is this? Oh. Hello. Some energy ammo. Nice. Grab all that. I don't think we could ever use this. Can we use this? Take all. Okay, shift F will take all right away. Wicked. Okay, so they want us to create that camo thing, but she wants me to upgrade my thing. First, I'm just going to make the ammo thing so that we can get that completed. Have that done. Nice. And then we're going to upgrade our skills so she's very happy. And then we have tons of survival skills here we can kind of go through. I don't remember this being there last time we played this, but I don't know. It, again, it's been a little bit of hot minutes since last time I did jump in. And yes, yeah, so let's get ourselves survival skills, which we're going to need advanced digestion, which is, I think, somewhat important, uh, <laughs> more effective. And we also have stamina too, which is kind of nice. Fast reloading, advanced recharge, and advanced treatment. I'm, I would love to get that upgrade. This. How many points do we have right now? One skill point, right? Do I have to hold this? There we go. Done. So you just have to click it on there. So once that little bar opens up the bomb, it will let you just click on it, and we're ready to go. Cool, cool, cool. So store ammo. Uh, I had it was in that camo box. We'll put it down on the ground for now. There you go. To gather materials so you can branch out, you need to explore further. However, that would also increase your chance of getting hurt. The healing protocol instantly restores your health. Crafting healing protocols using a workbench can save you some materials. If you need more crafting materials, look in the abandoned buildings. Okay, so let's go and take a look at this. Now we need a crafting bench. There's a lot of things we can craft in this game. Storage box, small ones we have here. Workbench, there it is. Let's craft that baby up. Don't we have to start building soon? I think it's going to be something we're going to have to work on very shortly. I'll let her run through the demo. The actual, not demo, but the actual uh, tutorial. Okay, so I have to go back and look at this, but I actually have to use F2. This, all right, so we're going to build up our base a tiny bit. There should be enough room for us to have something here. Can't be near there, but the rocks just came back here, so we'll be able to utilize that in a second. Uh, this only way, I'm not mistaken, we can put down a crafting bench. If I'm not mistaken. We're going to take apart that in a, a little rock there. As long as it doesn't cause any kind of big issues. All right, cool. Nice. Let's just uh, take this apart. Absolute demolition. And then press F3, if I'm not mistaken. And if F3, yeah, I can do demolition and, of course, other things, upgrading our building if we want to, which is really a lot of fun and great. So that'll help be helpful. I think I'm going to make the door uh, for the building over here uh, going up. It'll make our life maybe a little bit better for us to be able to survive. I don't know if I should build any further out, so make a nice little square area. It's not supposed to be sexy. It's supposed to be very, very easy for us to use inside. So, yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to do that. i going to make a couple more foundations. We can worry about it look nice right afterwards and redesigning it. Okay, let's just open this up again, and we're going to want to get ourselves some... These are stairs, all right? These are other kind of stairs here. Second floor. Do they have ramps? Oh, sure, they had a wraps. There you go. Wraps. Cool. Oh, it's not letting me put it there because of the tree, I think. But it says it's okay. Interesting. Anyways, we'll expand back out from that side. It's not a big deal. We'll have this. We should be able to place down one of these now here, right? Workbench. You have to place it on a power board. Oh, that's right. That's what I forgot. Okay, so we need to craft up a power board. And remodeling, okay. 
And there's a power boards right here. I'll put that there for now. Let's get a couple of them done. So we got a couple power boards so we can do our crafting we want. And there you go. This makes a big difference. We can now rotate this through this. Don't know which side's which, though. We're going to say it like that. That's fine. Equip the crafted protocol on the lower left part of the character window. The equipped protocol will be automatically added to a quick slot in the lower right corner of the screen. Then, you can use it by pressing its exclusive quick slot. Perfect. Uh, actually, you need materials to craft a new firearm. I think you'll need to fight a combat robot, so make sure you get some ammunition, food, and medical supplies before you leave. Yeah, we're going to chop down a couple of things here. We're going to have to make ourselves a campfire, by the way. Okay, so it took five chips. I'm going to need to find more of those chips. We're completely out. Uh, that should have given me... Wait a second. Did it just craft up the same thing? It did it last time, too. Give me two health pro... You see what's happening is that I'm not clicking on it. See, when I click on it, then it gives me metals and stuff. We need to go and fire ourselves some more metals. That's a must. We've been crafting up a whole bunch of stuff here, and this has pretty much used up everything. All right, well, we got two health protocols because my stupidity. That's still not fixed. I remember from last time, too, I had that same issue. Anyways, we'll put that into our storage here on the side. We did at least get all this done. I wonder if I can just craft up a quick little storage crate because uh, we can't make this grill. We're going to have to go and loot up a little bit around the area here. We'll go and check out some new areas and see whether or not we can do some storage. Or are we going to be out of some stuff? We still need to do these ones, eh? All right. Well, you know what? I, it stacks up pretty decently, so we're just going to go and do that. I'm going to search out for more items. There's some right next to us, actually. That's pretty cool. We'll go and grab that. Turn it off. There's a lot to learn. There's always a learning process in every kind of game you play. Again, it's been a while since I played, but boy, oh boy. It, oh, these are not combat robots, are they? I did get the wrench from the guy last time. Oh, there he is. Shit. I don't know if the wrench is any good. That gave a little more hits, eh? Hey, buddy. You're a little bit, uh... Oh, ow. Asshole. Yeah, they want us to fight the combat robots. Very nice to say, but uh, not very easy to do. Especially when they're... They, they mean get ready. They Really, they mean get ready. It's not a joke. Okay, so we open this up here, too. Hopefully, we'll find some more metals. Because, boy, I didn't realize how tough it is to find this stuff. All right, there we go. It's some more stuff here. Come on, not cloth. A couple more pieces of metal would be nice. There's a combat robots all over there. You can see them. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to put down that grill and the chest. I'm not sure if I can put that in my place. I don't think I can. If not, I'd probably put them outside anyways. I won't want that inside. Yeah, I'll put that outside. We'll put it next to our stuff here. Uh, here, over here, we can open this up and we can just shoot in our food. There we go. And... I need to fuel for this. What kind of fuel? I don't remember taking down trees and stuff. Is that something we have to do? Or is there vines and other things? Because I have no other fuel. I have some food. But they didn't really walk us through that. Alright. Well, it's okay. We'll just kind of... Uh, we'll do our best. We'll go and check out those guys over there. Let's eat some stuff. We're going to do some fixings. Make sure we're in really good shape. Alright. And I need a core shell, too, so that's the only thing that kind of sucks. They said I can craft up some stuff off of here. Some ammo and other things and guns. So let's go and double check to see what we can craft up right now. Not very much. Building core. The terracites, power generator, generates electricity by... Yeah, we need this, too. Let's craft that baby up. I don't see that. I mean, I have all the other stuff here we can do. We can't exactly do what they want us to do right away. I'll put some uh, crates maybe against this wall here. We can craft out afterwards. Well, cool. love the storage crates. They look very, very nice. Okay, so our power core is finished building. We're going to put that right here. Very nice. And that's where we're going to need the fuel i think i'm mistaken i thought it was wood but i think we need this stuff if i'm not the mistaken the building core generates power by disintegrating anything convert any items you don't use into power with the building core of course feeding a terracite produces the most power okay so yeah that's nice i don't remember that being something yeah, let's convert that we have a lot of cloth 
Now, does that for the grill too? Did that work out the same way? I could put anything I want, or do I have to put some terracite inside here? Yeah, we gotta put some terracite for now. I guess we, I'm not sure if we can use cloth or not. Well, as we cook up the food there, we're gonna make sure to keep an eye on it. Uh, where's it gonna pop out? I don't know. Storage is here. Okay, it stacks one stack. Gotcha. So that one's able to stack one stack. Perfect, though. All right, we're going to go fight the guys over there. We'll just drop off uh, the loot we're not too much needed for. So, you know, all the stuff here. Uh, it still doesn't have the shift and take half and take one. Discard and send is G. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Much easier. Here, I'm trying to click away at it before, but that works out even better. We'll put this away right here. Uh, we could eat a tiny bit of those. We'll put this away and we'll keep this with us. And this way we have some room for us to do some work. Uh, let's eat a tiny bit. I think they took away the water, didn't they? I don't remember the water. Let's turn this off for now. Fine. We might need a little bit of food on the run. Okay, so we're good. We can grab some of this terracite which we need. Now, we're not armed at all to teeth like we should be to fight these guys. There's a good possibility we are going to die. Distinct possibility, but we're going to try our best. We do have a, a gun with a little bit of ammo. Not the best of guns, but... Again, they could be combat without guns, too, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Yeah, they got... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. There's a lot of them. Really want to be close to these guys. Get down. Orbis assault bots are some of the weaker combat robots out there. Yeah. Still, they can pose a threat if they hang up on you as a group. Yeah. You can get materials for an assault rifle from robots. Oh. Kill more of these robots and craft an assault rifle. Since assault rifles take light ammo, just like pistols, you can use it right away. Okay. We can do a assault rifle, I think, with these guys now. I was going to see if there's anything else we can grab here. Actually, I should be very smart about this. I need to make myself an assault rifle if I can. And am I still missing what now? Oh, I have much, much stuff. Energy pistol, submachine gun. Yeah, I'm still missing a whole bunch of stuff. We need battery packs, cylinders, and other things, I think. I didn't see the assault rifle anywhere. I hear another guy. Oh, there it is. Oh, balls. Little balls. Stop moving. Stop moving. If you don't have any ammo in your inventory, you can't reload your firearm. The number of remaining shots available for Ow. the currently equipped firearm is displayed in the lower right corner of the screen. Get into the habit of crafting ammo so that you won't run out during combat. No shit. Okay. Do we craft that up yet or did I get stopped there? We'll craft that up. Then we're going to need the uh, ammo for this. Was this a single auto light ammo? All right. Let's just type this in here so we can find it. Light ammo. Perfecto. Now it's time for you to build a shelter for yourself. You can find the materials you need from the resources around you. Oops. Uh, Press and hold the interaction key against resources like rocks and deposits until they are totally disintegrated to gather as many materials as possible. Easy, right? Yeah, it, I, I kind of skipped that step, sorry. The materials, think about where you want to build your home. If you get attacked by wild beasts or other exiles while you're building it, you'll have to collect materials again. Is it weird that I'm telling you to build a home when you're going to return to Orbis someday? <laughs> well, having a home increases your chance of survival so that you'll be able to go back at all. So just make sure that no exile takes your valuable terracite from you. So that's if, if you're playing you PvP, I think. Place, let's get started with constructing your home. First, build a foundation. Press no. and hold the construction key until you see a ring of options. While still holding the construction key, move the mouse cursor to the building part yeah, sorry. you want to build. Then release the construction key to start building that part. 
Well, at least you're walking us through it, right? Select That's important the foundation, part. and the area where you can build it will be indicated in blue. That's pretty cool. Shift F, we can grab everything. Press G is a key. Do we want to grab what we need? Okay, cool. Yeah, I should just be doing this right when I'm looking at it, Just press that, and it'll show you the right hand side, which you grabbed. Honestly, a whole lot faster than having to run around opening up. Here we go. He's got some badges off that guy. And another hammer. I think we can use that for uh, our energy, too. So that's great if we have too much of those. Oh. And we use electrical cables. We have metals and stuff we can pick up. That's wicked nice. And I think we can come back here afterwards for a little more. There is this air conditioner, I think it is. Let's turn this off. I think there's another guy. I kind of want to fight him to see how this gun's going to do. There's one. Oh boy. It's willy nilly. It's all over the place. Another guy coming. I hear him. Check and see how it feels without sights. Okay. Still another dude around here somewhere. Okay, so let's go make her happy. We'll build one foundation. You know, if we've already done the job. That's okay. Uh huh. There's some stuff here. Again, I should have just done this from outside. Good. And I think we got some pretty decent resources here. We can make our way back to our base and uh, be able to do that work. Thankfully enough, we got quite a bit. Can we just destroy these two? Oh, yeah. These are fine rocks compared to the other crappy ones. 40, 50. Wow. That's a good amount. Love that. Give it to me. Oh, there's a little bit of water right next to us, too. Now, again, I don't remember seeing water being a thing anymore, only food. Which I remember previously there was water. We used to have some water, like a little water canteen or something we used to walk around with. And also, that's gone, too. Look how amazing that is. It looks really cool. All right. Um, so, yeah, they want us to make another foundation. We're just going to do that really quick over here. We can extend our base. Okay. On the floor, what does it say? Building a wall on a foundation floor. Oh, I knew I built it. All right. Well, we'll do that, too. That's good. We'll just make this and we'll make a wall protect our work or stuff. I don't think there's a wrong or good side or bad side. Actually, wait a second. Is there windows or is that something I put in afterwards? I believe that's something I put in after. No, there's windows. Is this considered uh okay, wait a second. This is that. Get a little bit of windows there. One there. One there for us to see what the hell's going on in case. Uh, we're probably going to build it out on this side anyways, but it doesn't consider, you can see there, it needs a little bit more uh, walls, regular walls. So let's make it happy by fulfilling what it wants us to do. We're going to protect this. Is she done yet? There you go. Eight. Perfect. And then press F2 uh, for building. And what does it say? On a foundation on the floor. Build a door frame. Gotcha. That's actually something I need. I'm all good with that. What side? Ooh, I like the markings. That's cool. All right, press F2 and put a door in. Roger that. Nice. If you don't want others to barge into your home, set up a password on your door. Hold and press interaction key near the door to set up a password. All right, they want to build any floor on the wall, so that's what they want us to get done here. These are power boards. We want floors. Two. At first, the whole building process will seem strange and slow. It was like that for us pioneers too. Still, you need to get used to it Close if you building. want to go back to yeah. Orbis. Now work on building the rest of the parts to complete your shelter. Yeah, it's a, we're gonna need to complete up this portion using here. Using the crafting bench and install it in your shelter. 
Then, when you die, you can respawn on the installed bed. Press interaction key near your crafting bench to use it. If right. the building core doesn't have electricity, you can't use the crafting bench. Before crafting a bed, check how much power the building core has. Keep in mind that most structures that run on electricity must be installed on a power board. This home is now yours. You can fill it with anything you want. Install a crafting bench and use it to make other devices. All right. All right, we're going to put these ones back in here. I think, uh, did I grab a second wrench? I don't think I did. I believe this one is what? Damage, 15, 15. Okay, does it show you where it's at? I know I see the bar at the bottom, but I was wondering if it would show me how good it's still left on it, how much, but we'll just convert this for 100. That's fine. We have a couple of these, so yeah, it's 100, it's 100, dude. We'll take it. Obviously, if we do this and we grab some Terrasite, let's just do it for shites and giggles, convert this, 4,000. So, yeah. Very nice. Oh, anti-degradation too. That means our base. There we go. Protecting our base from degrading. Very, very important. All right, so let's get the bed. We got that up and running. We'll put this down somewhere over there. Uh, maybe in a quarter here. For now. Whenever you have the resources, craft other structures like a forge or a repair bench and install them in your shelter. Okay. Let's craft a sturdier piece of armor. Open the crafting bench and craft one of the armor pieces marked with an exclamation mark. Okay, so... All right, grab more fiber because I might as well get the extra suit. I'm not going to be uh, wanting to have less than perfect. So we'll grab this. We'll put this over there. And can I get shoes like that too? Or the right shoes stay the same? There's a lot of stuff here. Holy crap, there's boots too. I think we could craft those. Common boots. Yeah, let's craft a set of those. More powerful weapon and equipment increase your chance of survival. Now you're going to venture out into more dangerous areas. The battle will be tougher, so make sure to get ammo, food, and medical supplies. We'll convert that. Anything we have like extra in those crap, just get rid of them. It doesn't give you much, but it's better than having it in their inventory and stuff clogging you up. There we go. Where are my pants? Why did they? What the freak? Metal lower suit. Oh, I don't even need the boots. Oh, well. Didn't realize it's a whole suit. Look at that. Yeah, convert that stuff, dude. But that is very nice. All right, so they always being made of forge and stuff. I know they tell me to go out and do some work and stuff for that. I tend to see I just wanted to get my base up and running. So let's see here. A forge, is it in this one? Yes, it is. Let's craft that up. That's going to take up quite a bit of resources, including resistors here and more metals. We'll have to go back out and get some more. That has cost us quite a bit. So if we have a forge going and all that, that's really nice. What else do we have here? Consumables, devices. Storage box, sleeping bag. We got a bed. We're okay with that. There's a grill we can put inside. Again, take up resistors and stuff, but we're going to have that inside. And then we have a forge. Parasite transmitter, repair bench, item retriever, electrical fence. Jesus, lost stuff. That is so freaking cool. Love that we can do all this stuff early on. I love this too. Sing. I know you can build windows, and I'm mistaken over there too. All right, so let's put the forge right here next to this one. I think that'll work out pretty good if we're together there. And then we have all together, we have our skill point too. We can kind of kick that up. I get it for health, also the re faster reload. Security hacking could be handy afterwards. Air glide. Advanced recharge. And go for that. We could use that. Okay, so the forge you can itself. Use the forge to consume power and refine advanced materials. Metal turns into advanced metal, and terracite turns into advanced terracite. The conversion will stop if the power runs out, so check how much power your building core has. Place a chunk of metal or terracite in the forge and adjust the slider to determine how much power to use. The more power it uses, the sooner it will be done. Yeah, we're gonna let it use all the power. We always want it faster, so you can put this down as a slider here, if I'm mistaken. And there you go, 40 seconds left. It'll get all the fine metal that we need for that, which will be handy. I don't like having this wide open right now. We don't have to worry about it too, too much. 
kind of want to kick the tires on this and then we can maybe go a little further in from next day but the game has a lot of potential doesn't it it just keeps on getting now, if you see it from the, the first time i played this to now you you're like oh my god big changes the game doesn't stop just progressing progressing all right uh we need to defeat tahina and gun shield and that's the bay over there okay and i think i have i made myself yes a grill those I think we can craft, put out anywhere we want to. I'll put in a corner here for now. Like a little barbecue for inside, I guess. Cool. You can use a barrel grill or a grill for cooking food. Add TerraSign to the fuel slot and ingredients to the ingredient slots and click the power button. After some time, the ingredients in the ingredient slots will turn into food. You can put installed barrel grills and grills back in your inventory. Once cooking is done, press and hold the redevelopment key and select retrieve to place structures back in your inventory. All right, so we can pick these up without trying to say, but quite a big question would have been uh, whether or not this will be an issue. Uh, using up on my terrace, I will shut off after it's finished. What was that? Another person coming in? Holy moly. All right, we're low on uh, batteries and other things, too. That's the other thing I have to kind of look at. Uh, we have some cylinders. We have that stuff. Now, where was my batteries? All right, let's go 10 of those. A couple of mushrooms until we finish them. And then we're going to have our food up here now. The, like I said, the curiosity. Well, let's finish. Do I have to worry about it? Why did it stack up there? That's strange. Let's eat this up. Nice. All right, good. Now this is pretty much all done too. So we can utilize this. This is on my hot bar. It's true. I keep on forgetting. Let's just make sure we're up. Now you want to make sure. I think we can make better batteries too or an upgrade our arm. Oh, that was much better than we got the last time. That filled me up all the way. Okay, cool. But yeah, we're going to build to upgrade, take care of our stuff, get it more done. I think we're going to come back with this for another episode or two until they let me, well, until they stop me from playing. And if you, if you guys and girls are enjoying this, Please take time hit the like button if you're brand new please go subscribe uh the game has a lot of potential and only that potential it's starting to show that it's gonna be a big mammoth game people are gonna enjoy and play and i hope you guys enjoy it too if you guys do please take time again show that love you guys are absolutely the best this game edged we'll catch you guys on the flip side